Hello you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogtober where we're uploading a brand new video every two days. I also have quite a few bonus videos so there will be a couple bonus ones in between as well so make sure that you've got your notification turned on. Oh just hit the mic just so that you're notified of them extra videos that I do as well. Today I'm really excited, we're going to be doing a fall kind of inspired makeup look using loads of new pixie stuff that they very kindly sent across to me. But if you are new here, I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and enter my huge giveaway linked down below and let's just get straight into testing these pixie goodies. So we're going to be starting off with the pixie summer glow palette. This is what it looks like. So this is the sheer sunshine one. So we have nine different shades in here. It's actually quite a big palette in comparison to these little ones that I've got here. And we have quite a few different kind of bronzery shades, a blush, some shimmers and also like a shimmery bronzer as well. I think I'm going to go in with a mix of these two bronzer matte shades down here and I'm going to be taking the peaches and cream PC04 brush. So this summer glow palette retails for £18 from when I was having a little look online. It is quite a big palette and the whole kind of purpose of it is to have everything kind of in one place so it doesn't have to be a bronzer, it doesn't have to be a blusher, it can also be obviously eyeshadows and the highlighters can double up obviously as shimmery eyeshadows as well. So it's meant to be a kind of like go-to palette actually a really really nice bronzery colour. Bronzery colour? Is that even a word? If you're wondering about the rest of my, my makeup by the way I've got, let me just grab it because I don't actually know what this foundation's called, I've got the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation on um, and I've got the Revolution, oh my god so much noise, the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer, that one's in the shade C0.05 and the foundation's in the shade 20 Ivory and I've actually used the Pixie Contour Book to set my under eyes as well which is why they look lovely and bright. If you like a very warm toned bronzer you will absolutely love that, like if you love the MAC bronzer you'll absolutely love it because I am like obsessed with a really warm toned, obviously not orange, but really, really warm toned bronzer. And that's definitely what you get in this palette. It's, it is definitely a very summery palette, but I would just like wear this bronzer all year round because I'd love to love a warm bronzer. I can't help it. Now for highlight, I feel like we've got quite a few to choose from. So we've got three in this palette to begin with. The one that I would naturally use would be this middle one. I wouldn't really reach for the other two as a kind of face highlight. I'd use them as an eyeshadow or like under like brow bone or in a corner highlight, but I wouldn't typically use them on my cheeks. I'm just not a pink highlight kind of person. I definitely would go in... Oh, that is really soft. I would definitely go in with this middle shade. Okay, that is actually stunning. I don't even know if you were to see that on camera. That is really nice. But we also have some other palettes. Let's see what the other ones look like. So I was also sent in PR these two. So these are the Nuance Quartet um, palette. This is the one in Sugar Blossom, which just looks like this. This one is really nice. This one does have kind of like a mauve cool toned darker colour, which I typically wouldn't use for bronzer to be honest with you. I'd be more likely to go for the warm colour that we've got on now. And then the other one is in the shade Honey Nectar, which just looks like this. And this highlight in this top corner is literally screaming my name. These retail for £16 each, so um, £2 less than the other palette. But it's entirely up to you, whatever you think is going to be best. But I really, really want to go in with this one. So I'm going to try this one. I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush. If I was going to pick between the two, like if I went into a shop and saw them, I would be more likely to go for this one, which is the Honey Nectar over the Sugar Blossom, just because it has, oh my God, I'm hitting the microphone again, um, just because it has more of the tones that I would typically reach for in a palette, this one. So the highlighter is obviously more gold toned. Even like the blusher is more for me. Um, It's got like a gold reflex within the blusher. And yeah, it just would be more... More my cup of tea, this one. Let's see what magic it does. <laughs> oh, that is nice. I can imagine this would be absolutely stunning with a tan, like if you're having a nice tan going on. 
I am going to go in with a little bit of the middle one in this palette just because I want to see what this one's like just if it's being so so smooth um and so like shimmery on oh my god I'm dropping things so shimmery on the hand as well okay yeah that's gorgeous together and then I'm going to use the same two colours and put this on my lip and also on the end of my nose. I don't know what it is with foundation in my nose. It just, I don't know if you can see on the camera itself, it just doesn't seem to stick to my nose at all. No matter what foundation it is that I'm putting on, as soon as I put something else on top, it just moves it around and I don't know how, how else to fix it. I feel like I have to do like a really, really good, like, cleanse like double cleanse everything before I put my makeup on for it not to do that and I'm so lazy like that is not something that I really want to do every single time that I want to put makeup on I know I should anyway but I'm lazy you'll have seen that in my skincare routine okay I am so impressed with this one and also the one that's in the um summer glow palette as well let's go on with a bit of blusher this is the peaches and cream pco3 brush blush brush which I have been using for um blusher recently I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of the matte ones from the summer glow palette and then go in with one of the shimmery blushes from the other palette as a bit of a topper not that we need any more shimmer on my face but clearly I want more so I think I'm going to go in with this one in this top corner here and I try to hold the, my hand at the end of the brush as much as possible and kind of flick it so obviously i know these palettes like obviously this big one has the name summer glow it doesn't mean that you can't use this all year round because i would naturally use a warm kind of bronzer all year round anyway especially in the winter when i don't want to look like i've got no color to my skin also can you see this massive spot on my face <laughs> it's driving me insane i like pop that one i pop this one i pop this one i've done my blackheads this morning as well i just had like a proper popping fest on my face <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I think yeah I'm gonna go in with this one just because this is the um honey nectar one again and I think we'll try the other one I might just try the other one in my own time not necessarily on camera but I'm gonna go in with this one because this light pink down here um it does have a gold reflex to it there's like this darker pink here this one has shimmer in it but it's not gold if that makes sense but that is gorgeous i'd really like that on my cheeks and that's kind of like a bronzery shade with shimmer in as well so let's go in with i'm just gonna go in with a mixture of the two and i'm just going to like literally run this over the cheeks obviously i don't want to put too much on because i've already got highlight and blusher on to begin with that looks gorgeous I'm really loving blusher at the moment. I don't know what it is. I just really seem to be bonding very well with it. <laughs> well, face wise, I am really, really impressed with both of them palettes to the point where I actually would buy them. I know they are quite pricey. I do think they are a bit pricey, but it's pixie, so then it also makes sense as well. But yeah, would highly recommend the Summer Glow palette and also the Honey Nectar Quartet as well. Tap down. Right, let's put some eyeshadow on. So I've got two of the eye effects little mini palettes as well. We have um Rosette Ray, which just looks like this. This just screams autumn fall to me. <laughs> I think it's like the darker colours that are in it. And then we also have the hazelnut haze. Oh my god, this one again, it looks beautiful. I don't even know what I want to do. That's what that one looks like. So these are actually different price to the other ones to the quartet so they're the exact same like size packaging wise but these ones because obviously you're getting nine products inside of here these retail for 22 i've wrote that all down when i was planning this video just so i didn't have to like search it all about the time so i'm just taking a little bit of the p louise base in the shade 2 rumor i'm just literally just going to tap this <laughs> all over my eye and then i'm going to go in with the peaches and cream pc18 brush which is like quite a big like a concealer kind of brush and I'm just literally going to tap this all over so I think I'm going to be using this one so this is the hazelnut haze and I'm going to start off with this colour down here and just the spectrum a112 brush so I've just started by literally just tapping this into my crease 
so far it's been really pigmented I mean, you can tell straight away it's been super super pigmented I've barely had to build it up and like the little bits that I've built up where maybe I haven't applied as much they've literally like piled on top of each other like sat on top of each other really well there's no patchiness or anything so far which is really good Um, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M507 brush and I'm just gonna diffuse these edges just to begin with and literally just taking like the tiniest little circle of motions to blend this out there isn't really like a lighter color i mean there's like this color up here to blend it out into but that's quite a i don't know like true to skin color for me so i think i'm just going to blend this <laughs> and i'm just going to take tiny 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 little circle of motions and just do this all the way around the eye until i'm 100 percent happy but so far I'm really impressed with how pigmented this is. So now that that's blended all out, I'm gonna go back in with the same brush that we've used to pack it on and basically pack it all back on again and blend it out until I get it to the color that I want it to be and the pigmentation and the pop that I want. And then to make that pop even more, I'm literally gonna go in with this brush that I got like, oh my God, absolutely years ago. But I'm gonna go in with this darker color here. I'm a bit scared about using this one because it just look quite dark. Hopefully it won't be as scary on the actual eye itself. And I'm gonna put this, I don't know where I wanna put this. I'm gonna put this in the, like deep into the crease, just to deepen things up a little bit as well. Like straight away, that's blending really, really nicely <laughs> with the orange. I was so scared that this is gonna look really patchy, but actually it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna keep packing it in the outer corner and then we'll use a little brush to blend this all together i'm just going to go in with that same um m what is it called m507 brush and just diffuse the edges and just blend it in with that first shade that we put in and then taking the same spectrum brush that we packed the orange on with i am going to go back over this just to again intensify and bring back that orangey rustic shade that we had which actually blends really nicely with that darker colour which I'm so happy with. <laughs> I was so worried about that. And then I'm going to be taking the Morphe M562 brush which is just a clean fluffy brush just to go over everything just to blend things together and then I'm going to pack some more of that darker shade in the outer corner just to intensify it a little bit more. Ooh, what is that? Is that dry skin of my lip? That is minging. So I'm going to take some of the Clinique Take The Day Away um, makeup remover Oh my god, why has it got a child lock on it? <laughs> I can't open it. And I'm just taking a cotton bud and I'm going to remove some of this colour off the lid a little bit. So I'm literally just going to use that same brush that we used to tap the base in. I'm just going to go over that area just to make sure it's dry and prepped and stuff. And then we're going to go in with a shimmery shade. I think I'm going to go in with this one. And then we'll use this middle one up here. Probably mix with like the middle one for the inner corner. Let's do that. I'm going to go in with my... Oh my god, that feels so buttery smooth. I'm going to go in with my finger and tap... <laughs> and tap this on. And then we'll go in with a brush for like the bits that we need to get like right in. Wow. The bonus of not doing a cut crease is that it doesn't really matter if we haven't got it like 100% because we're not doing a cut crease. We can overlap some of that glitter with the darker colour that we've got in the crease. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is what I just love about these kind of looks. That is actually unbelievable. That is such... Oh my god! So I'm taking a little Morphe brush. This one doesn't have a name on it. It must just be one of the sets that my mum got me for Christmas one year. And I'm going to go in with that top middle light shade. And I'm actually going to go in with the other palette in their top... Oh, that's my, my microphone. <laughs> um, with the top middle light shade as well. Just to give that a little bit... That, co that colour in the middle there is absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner and I'm going to take just a little bit of the shimmery one from the other palette and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight just because it is that little bit lighter than the one that's in the palette that I used for the rest of the look. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the darker shade again just to blend in that shimmer and just to deepen it up ever so slightly as well. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. I'm going to do my other eye and I'll be back with you 
in a second and we'll do something with my lips. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Mm. So for underneath the eye, I've just gone with the Morphe M507 brush with the first shade and just done this basically all along the lash line and getting slightly thicker towards the outer edge just so it kind of all loops in together. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M419 brush and just with that darker shade and just concentrate this more for the outer corner of the underneath of our eyes but also really really tight to that lash as well just so that it has kind of the same gradient that we've got on the top but also on the bottom just so it looks a little something like that i'm honestly so impressed so so, so impressed with these eyes these eyes these eyeshadows so it is now numerous hours later i've been in hard to take away and um, i've also filmed edited and submitted a group presentation for uni but I've just finished off the rest of my makeup and I just thought I'd show you the finished look so for the lips I am over the moon with this lip combination I've used my Doll Beauty lip liner for the first time this is the Run The World one so I've put that all around my lips and kind of blended into and left the middle bit empty if that makes sense then I filled the middle bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Angel Alexandra lipstick and then topped the middle middle bit <laughs> up with the Pixi Lip Lift Max in Sweet Nectar which makes my lips feel huge, <laughs> feel really really plump and glossy and for the mascara I've just gone in with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mini that I got um, as a sample when I got one of their mystery boxes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed. I'm quite gutted that I've left it so long because I really wanted to film another video with this makeup look, but I'm not gonna have a chance to because it is currently quarter to 10. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Please leave um, some comments down below. Let me know what kind of Halloween looks you want me to do because I will be filming them very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in two days time for another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.